Who is a villain you rooted for rather than the protagonist and why? I think Paul in Dune 2 is going to turn evil and cause the deaths of over 60 billion people across the galaxy. I'm rooting for him because his house was betrayed and almost wiped out by treachery. Paul basically got revenge and destroyed the Emperor's house and the Harkonnens both of which conspired together. The great houses will not honour Paul's ascendancy and I believe that they shall all be put to the sword and regarded as traitors to the galaxy as well as anybody that supports them. Down with the Emperor and the great houses. The Joker he was obnoxious, but deep town had the best heart. Just hurt and angry. An amazing character and Jared Leto and Joaquin Phoenix SP did it best in different ways. Sai is cool to it but the Joker truly comes alive and Margot Robbie took the whole game really he did it the very best but I just feel weird mentioning him BC he's passed and I'll never do him justice. He got into the Joker like Johnny Depp did blow and that's the talent I find beautiful and appreciate. The flag smashes in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. They were 100 in the right and I'm pretty sure the writers only had them kill people so that they wouldn't be more sympathetic than the main characters. Our egregious example was when they had Carly blow up a random building with hostages for no reason and had her say something along the lines of violence is the only language these people understand. Tom Brady and Patriots because they were the best team in the NFL at the time. Endola, Gronk, a top 5 O line, Wolferk, Sheard, Guy, Hightower, Van Noy, Butler, Refus, Gilmore, Rowe, Jackson, Ryan, Jones, Talib, McCourty, June, Hummon, Cardona, and Gaskowski are all legends. The precursors in Pacific Rim 2. The protagonist sucks so much that I don't even fucking remember his name. The whole in-universe world never learn anything from the first movie. They even collaborated with a downright villain which happens to be Chinese has a redemption arch which got a lot of people unnecessarily killed. Ted Crawford and Anthony Hopkins in Fracture. He killed his wife with meticulous planning and is two steps ahead of arrogant Willie Beacom Ryan Gosling all the way through. Beacon doesn't deserve to catch Crawford to live his life knowing his misplaced arrogance and better opponent let a guilty man walk free. I never actually rooted for her over the main characters. That Azula is possibly my favourite villain in any media. I don't like her as a person obviously. But I love her character. So confident and intelligent. She would have made a great fire lord. I think she and Zuko are the best written characters in the show. Pluma for my Indian peeps that no dot dot. Rashivan Lausis was the only sane character in that family. For context, it's a typical Indian telenovela, and even though it's not supposed to be funny, it really is the cause of how dumb their problems are. It has become such a meme show within the Indian community. Lex Luthor in Smallville. Clark Kent is always portrayed as the super law-abiding good guy who puts doing the right thing behind doing what the law and his moral compass demands. Ends up treating his best friends like shit because he has to be the good guy. Plus Michael Rosenbaum is a brilliant actor. Sila in the TV show Heroes. The good guys became so extremely awful and stupid. I could only tolerate watching it by rooting for the intelligence and logical villain. Yeah. There were a few of the good guys I liked. But I really wanted the Mohinder character to be offed. Squidward. Why neighbours and over-enthusiastic co-workers. Wants to leave work on time. Needs his quiet time. Wishes that he has a sculpted body and dares to dream despite being bad at the skill a clarinet virtuoso. We are Squidward. Dr. Maruki from Persona 5. I don't necessarily rooted for him but the guy is genuinely a good person and had the best intentions, but his methods were the worst. Also, his VA made an incredible job, but suddenly passed away short after the game got released. Judas in the Bible. The guy showed up, did some magic tricks, and said, hey, I'm here to tell you that God wants you to live different than he had directly told you that you should live. That's some devil trickery. Of course, they killed Jesus. All of them, 
villains are compelling characters that actually put in planning and effort into their muster plans. Meanwhile, heroes are just dot 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 heroes. They win because the plot demands it and there's hardly ever any effort put into achieving it. Captain Henry Rhodes in Day of the Dead, rolling the zombies on the scale they could actually manage made no sense, and their experiments actively endangered what few of them are left in what would have otherwise been a very secure sanctuary. Heinz Doofenshmirtz, he had a rough childhood. His parents didn't even bother showing up for his own birth, but he managed to grow up to be a loving father who simply wants to take over the tri-state area. If it weren't for that pesky patapus. Lex Luthor. Imagine growing up knowing that everything has to be earned. And then a god comes from the sky and completely decimates your world view. And that said god has everything you wanted. I'm not justifying Lex. But dude is relatable. Villain and protagonist can be the same thing. Walter White. Tony Soprano. Dexter Morgan and everyone on the wire are all villains. If you meant antagonist, then I would say Plankton on Spongebob and that guy from The Incredibles. Sephiroth, not rooted for specifically, but I wanted to know more, and given you don't actually met him until the very end of the game it adds to the mystery. Even in playthroughs I always look forward to seeing him. De Uniborma. A lot of what he talks about in his manifesto is spot on accurate. Everything about technology taking over is what we are living through. He was also one of the few true environmentalists to ever exist. In the last few episodes of The Clone Wars, I was rooting for Darth Maul. I'd seen Ahsoka get out of trouble dozens of times before. But seeing Maul scared for his life made me really feel for him. Every movie version of Magneto, new and old, because it felt very anti-extermination save for the older versions. Solving extermination with counter-extermination he always came around in the end. I don't usually hate on a protagonist, but in Uncut Gems, when Adam Sandler died, I stood up and began to cheer. He's the most unlikable protagonist I've ever seen in any movie or show. Miriam from Hunter x Hunter. To see his personality go from monster to human versus Gons going the opposite was something I didn't think that would hit me in the feels as much as it did. Hate them in Assassin's Creed 3. I love Connor. The Hatem had the more convincing argument. People do need structure and order. Otherwise they fall prey to their base instincts. Magneto. All he wanted was rights for mutants. He was essentially Malcolm X and he basically went through a holocaust. He was ready to and did what he could to get better rights. Mojo Jojo. He was basically the favorite pet who was irreparably damaged by experiments and thrown out to be replaced by the Powerpuff Girls, the new favourites. I get it. Bode Crowder from Justify. I think it's because his character was acted so well he felt real. And the protagonist Raylan turned into a mega asshole in the final season. Pain. Maybe I was an edgy teenager back then, and I felt he had his motives in line with the world we live in. Naruto and the Leaf Village are the villains in his story. Denzel in Training Day. Up until that movie, he never played a bad guy. Even after he left Ethan Hawke to die, 75 of test audiences still thought he was a good guy. Nacho Varga in Better Call Saul. Dude should have used his networks and killed all the olds and taken over the Salamancas. They ruined his could-be story in my head. Captain Hook. He's interesting and cool that spoiled boy is as twisted as him but boring as fuck. I really can't stand Peter Pan. Just grow up, you little shit. The Borg. My life is all about doing things efficiently. I can't stand inefficiency. Many more reasons. But yes, simply put, I don't think they're that bad. Carly Morganville from Tfots. She was absolutely right until they gave her the hay. In case you don't know. This is supposed to be the bad guy treatment. Mojo Jojo. He never really seemed like he wanted to do anything super evil, but the PPG repeatedly beat the stupid out of him for pretty much no reason. Laurie Quaid in the 2012 Total Recall. I forget why exactly, but I liked her more than the main two. She was relentless and Kate Beckinsale. 
a class act. I so wanted Olpacino to die rather than De Niro in heat. De Niro was cool. Pacino was a dick. Well, maybe not die. But I didn't want him to win. Dr. Doofenshmirtz, I always kind of felt bad for him. He is trying to take care of his family. But the Alka has to beat him come arrest him. Sometimes the Joker. He wins if Batman kills him. But he would also be saving so many lives if he could just get him to kill all the villains. Swiper. He was just a sly fox raised on the wrong side of the fence and wanted to be included but knew Dora had to keep the fun for herself. Damien in Creed 3. I thought he was so cool and deserved the win. Even as a villain. Would have made him a real threat. Wish we beat Adonis. Abby Overly in Tlue to towards the end. Love how the game made you kinda switch sides. Still love Ellie. She was just being a bitch lol. In Jaws to near the end there is this girl who won't stop screaming hysterically, and I kind of want the shark to eat her so it will stop. Francis Hummel Ed Harris from The Rock. He was trying to help wrong families and gave the gov every chance to make things right. Magneto. His family was ripped apart by Nazis as a child. Then he watched governments hunt down his people again as a mutant. Archie in Pokemon Ruby Sapphire. Humans fucked up the planet, so we should flood it and let nature take over. Sounds good to me. Sauron in Rings of Power. The other characters taking more than five seconds to figure out who he is means he deserves to win. 